Hello there, beautiful people. Welcome back again to On How Channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes. I'm working for you. So if you have any questions, any video requests, make sure to drop them below in the comment. I would be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. And please bear witness for that because I made over 250 videos so far on Shopify customization. They were mostly requested by you guys. And I know some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them. So don't hesitate, man. If you have any video requests or any questions, just drop me a comment below. I would be happy to provide you information you need or even make a video for you. And yeah, you don't have to subscribe or maybe now you should consider doing so because if you don't, you lose. Now it's a very different chapter on this channel. I usually share small customizations, but now we'll be sharing complete sections and widgets, highly customizable to make a Shopify store very unique or professional without having to rely on those expensive teams or paying those expensive developers or even worse, paying for those monthly subscription applications that will drain your money and it's not a very good idea for long-term projects. But I give you a better deal. Scroll down to the channel, check out the videos and sections I'm sharing. Not let you be the judge, not respect your decision. But for now, let me show you how to add a pop-up with a welcome discount code message on your Shopify store by using your own custom code and it has many many trigger options you can set it as an exit intent trigger once the user is trying to leave or a welcome discount message when the user just access the Shopify store after one second or two seconds delay and many many options that you don't even need I actually added them just in case and yes all of this by using your own custom call no applications involved so this is actually a multi-purpose you can set it for any purpose you want and enough for me talking without any more talking let's jump to it and show you what I'm talking about as you can see this is Shopify down team I always start with a new team nothing on it in each video I add small customizations but if they like 70 or 60 the team will be completely different but now I think I reached that level halfway for example check out this all-in-one reviews carousel that will show reviews from multiple sources Google Facebook Amazon Etsy and it's filterable if I click on Google all the reviews from Google and so on or even better, check out this recent sales notification that will show you the recent sales on your Shopify store by using your own custom code and it's highly customizable. Or if you want actually to save for money or make more money, check out this. So this is the mouse goes right. I will act just like I'm trying to leave or close the page. And this thing will show up, which is an abandoned cart pop-up reminder that will remind the user how many carts he, how many products sorry he added to the cart and he didn't check out and a button so he can check out obviously pay you the money he owes you and this is again by using your own custom code and many many things as you can see i cannot even mention everything on the shopify store has been done in tutorials but what i'm about to show you as i said is a pop-up with a welcome discount code message that will show the discount and show every little detail that you want but for my case as you can see the shopify store already have one pop-up I will do this on another team, which is the newer ones, Horizon. And this actually, this code will work on every Shopify team. No matter if it's free one or paid ones, it works on all of them because it's a standalone Shopify section, which is invisible. It will not be visible. It's only a pop-up and you will see that in a couple of seconds. So let me close this actually, and let me access the Horizon team, which is this one. So we will do demonstration on this horizon team. So we'll keep this page open, do the trick, come back and see it in action. So get back in here. The first thing you're going to do is click on the three dots on the left of customize and click on edit code for the team you are using, of course. In my case, I'm doing it on uh, horizon team. Then it will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team. On the left banner in here, you see this folder right here, it says sections, simply click on it to be expanded. Then click on the first one, which is add a new section. And it will show you this prompt right here so you can name the section and you can name it anything you want in my case I'm gonna name it discount dash pop-up just like this just the name for it do not add the extension for the file just the name for it and click on done and it will create some code here by default make sure to remove the whole code in here keep it empty then the next thing you're going to do is scroll down the description box and you will see a link my website click on it and there is two versions of this code the free version and the paid version and the free version will do the job just fine but the premium version is for professionals that will make uh, want it to stand out and make it look professional. And you will see that in a couple of seconds. So in my case, I will assume that you got the premium version. Just so you can see how it looks like and how it behaves. So after you open that uh, zip file that will contain that liquid file and will also contain a PDF file, a comprehensive guide that I wrote myself so you can uh, even... If you didn't follow this video, you can actually open the PDF file and follow along with every option, what it does and how to use it and the best case use for it. And also it will come with a, uh, my personal contact in case you need me. 
So after you do open that zip file, open that .liquid file with any text editor on your computer, then copy the whole code inside it, then simply paste it in here. That was very simple, right? After that, click on save button, wait for a couple of seconds. Now it's save it. Now we will get back to Shopify dashboard and we will add the section which is an invisible section as I said. So click on customize button, then it will take you to the team editor. And in here you can add it anywhere because it doesn't matter, it will not show up. So click on add section anywhere, then here is, it's called welcome offer as you can see. So let me add it and a bunch of options you will see on the right here as you can see. Let me scroll down, many many options that you don't even need. I will go through each option and show you what it does and how it works and the best case use for it. But first, let me show you how it looks like so I don't waste your time in case you're not interested. Let me add a picture uh, on the left side. I will add my favorite, which is, which is this one. And let me add a logo as well. I'm gonna add my YouTube channel logo. And let me click on save. I'm not gonna add any, there is many options to customize and to adjust in here. I will not do any of that. I will just, or actually let me switch to a video because you can, yeah. You can do that actually, you can, adjust, you can add a video to the pop-up, but I, I will do that later. Let me show you how it looks like on the mobile, on the, with a picture. So click on save button, wait for a couple of seconds, and it should show up right now. All the cookie is already saved. I need to enable this option. As you can see, it just shows again after interval. I simply enable it, then uh, click on save. But in your case, it shouldn't happen because I always test it out. And here it is, as you can see, this is how it looks like, the picture on the side. This is, you can add a video, as I said, in here. A video will be set in here. We will do that in this demonstration. And it shows by default in here. There is many options that are not enabled, as you can see. Uh, timer heading. There is a countdown timer as well. There is many options that are not enabled yet. This is just the default look for it. And let me close it and show you each option, how to enable it and we will enable it and add more features, then show you how it will become. So let me start from the beginning, which is the trigger option. So you can set a time delay, which is by default is one second and a half, 1,500 milliseconds, or exit in 10. When the user trying to leave, it will detect the mouse cursor. Once the user like trying to leave or close the page, then it will show up. And the third one, which is scroll depth. Scroll depth is based on percentage. As you can see, scroll depth percentage. So if the user is scrolled like 50%, uh, which is half the page. If he scrolled half the page, then the pop-up will show up. If I did like this to 90%, it means the footer. Once he scrolls the f to the footer or the uh, Shopify store, then the pop-up will show up. But if you did enable the time delay, this option uh, will be disabled, obviously. In my case, I'm gonna keep it as time delay. And also, I'm gonna enable this one. This one is for the exit intent to show every time. So if you set as exit intent and the user trying to exit, then close the page, uh, close the pop-up, sorry, then uh, it keeps navigating again and again, he wants to leave if the pop-up will show up again or no. You can enable or disable this option. And below the next one, which is show the interval, show again after interval. I mean, show after, uh, if you set like time delay, uh, after he access the page, one, one second and a half, the pop-up would show up. If he closed the pop-up, after how long, again, it would show up. You can enable or disable this option. If it disable it, it will not show up anymore. If you enable it, you can set how many. The top is 300 seconds. I think that's like five minutes. Yeah, I think that's five minutes. Uh, in my case, I'm gonna give it as default, which is 60 seconds, is one minute. And below is the timer settings, because you can add a countdown timer. You can enable the heading or this, this is just the heading for the countdown timer because you can display a discount code as well on this. And I will show you how to do that. So uh, I will enable this one just for demonstration and you can adjust the timer heading size. If it's larger or smaller, I'm gonna keep it as 24 default. And if you wanna enable again the countdown timer, you can enable it from here, then set the timer duration. The minimum is one minute, the maximum is 100 minutes. So. This is a personal preference. Make sure to adjust it however you want. I'm gonna keep it as 16 minutes. And below is the timer background color and the timer text color. I'm gonna keep them by default. And again, this is the pop-up appearance, which is the pop-up background color is white by default. And below is the pop-up text color is black by default. I'm gonna keep them as that. And below is the pop-up size multiplier. So this is will actually scale, as you can see in the description, it can scale the entire pop-up proportionally. It will resize everything evenly. So this is very handy if you want to uh, make the pop-up bigger, takes larger space on the page, 
this is handy. I'm gonna keep it as one. And below, this is the option I was talking about, which is a media type. You can select a picture or a video. In my case, as I said, I'm gonna add a video. How to add a video? Simply enable it from here, then get back to Shopify dashboard. I'm going to add uh, a content, hit back to content on the left panel, then click on files, and simply drag the video that you want to use. It's better if it's vertical video. I have a couple of vertical videos in here. Here they are, I'm gonna use this one. So this one simply uh, copy it using the button on the right side. It used to be here besides the title. Now it's on the corner here. I'm not, I don't agree with this. Anyway, copy it for using this button, then get back in here and simply pass it in here and select it again. Now we did set a video. Now I'll show you how it looks like and the, uh, the brand logo. The brand logo, I'm gonna resize it more to make it larger a little bit to 120. And the logo maximum height, I'm gonna add that as 70. And the logo vertical position. If you wanna adjust this to make it like a vertical position, this is very obvious. I'm gonna keep it as zero because I think it looks good as default. And this one is the heading for the pop-up because you saw it says get 10% off. You can edit this however you want. And this is the option for the size for it. I'm gonna uh, make it smaller a little bit. I like it as 60 p uh, pixels. And below is the subtext, the text below the heading, the main heading, which is get 10% per, uh, off all uh, product collections uh, for a limited time. And you can resize this as well. And below is the offer button. So the button, the text on the button, you can uh, change this however you want. And the button background color, the button hover color, and the uh, button text color as well, and the button text size, and the button vertical padding, and the button horizontal padding. So this is highly customizable. You can customize it however you want. I'm gonna keep it as default. And below is the decline option, which is says, no thanks, I'll pay full price. And this is just a scarcity technique. It, uh, no, I don't think users will click on it, just to make user feel like he's missing out on something. So you can actually adjust this and change the text if you want and uh, resize it as well. And below is the offer setting. So this is the discount code that you want to offer for your visitors. Once you uh, like add a, or generate a discount code, make sure to pass it in here. I'm gonna keep it as welcome 10. And below is the copy success missions because uh, the button will copy the, the discount code, this one. And you can change the success message. It says by default discount code copy it, which I think is relevant. You don't need to do that. And a custom li uh, custom link. This is optional because once he copied the call, the, once he copied the code, then it will redirect him or open a custom link that you want. For example, you can add a collection page in here. So once the user click on uh, the button, it will copy the code, and after like one second or two it will open up the link to the color, to the collection page. Just like redirecting him here, use the discount code now. You can use it on this collection or whatever. And this is very handy if you wanna set a discount code for a particular product in a particular collection. This is very handy. In my case, I'm gonna add it as collection, just like I explained. So I'm gonna add like summer collection, spring collection. And this is the button for if you wanna disable the enable copy discount code, I'm gonna keep it and show discount code after copy, which will uh, pop up the discount code below the button. And you will see that. I'm gonna keep it as enabled so you can see it. And this one is enable custom open link. And make sure to enable this if you did set the link in here. So I'm gonna enable it because I did set it to Springs Collections. And below is the delay before opening the link. Once he clicked on the button to copy the code, how much he has to wait until the pop-up will show up. I would recommend you between two seconds and one second. In my case, I'm gonna do uh, 1.5. 1.5 is perfect. After I copy the code, one second and a half, then it will open up the link, which is very handy. So let's just click on save actually, and we get back in here, reload the page, and see that in action. So let's just reload the page. And here it is. Check it out now. As you can see, it has a video here on the left panel this time, and the video keeps looping, it doesn't have any sound, it doesn't have any controls or anything like that. And this is the countdown timer. The countdown timer, if you remember, we did set at 16 seconds, 16 minutes, sorry, which is exactly 16 minutes now starts. And this is get 10% off and the logo and the heading. All of this you can disable or enable the, the discount. I mean the countdown timer, we did enable it obviously. So let's just click on claim offer and see what it does. 
we did circa 1.5 seconds, right? So let's just click, click on claim offer. Discount code, copy it. One second, it will open up spring collection and it's empty. I completely forgot that it's empty actually. No products added. And below, it will show the discount code in case the user wants to see it or something like that, memorize it, doesn't trust the copy button or anything like that. And of course, if he clicks on no thanks, it will close the pop-up. And that's how you add the pop-up discount code message on your Shopify store by using your own custom code. And as I said, the premium version of this one will come a comprehensive guide on how to use it on also my personal contact if you, in case you need me. And if you have any video requests or any questions, just drop me a comment below. I would be happy to help you out. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.